Welcome back, sir. Back so soon? Sultan of Swing. Hey, Cal. How you doing, Sultan of Swing? It's been a minute. Experiencing some server issues at the moment. Um, I think there's uh, they're doing unscheduled server maintenance back like in the back end, so you may not be able to join your friends at all. <laughs> um, I might explain the Gorma glitch a little bit um, so for some of the people that are struggling with that one. Um, Yeah, the Gorma vid's done really well. Yeah, I'm very proud of that one. Um, there we go. I'll just be testing, showcasing something interesting I here. Be back. It's just like a catalog uh, glitch. If you go into the outfit sections while wearing like a roll outfit, and view it. Um, yo, all the all the people I usually <laughs> see that, huh? in stream today, lovely, all the newcomers. Here we go. So if I join this guy, right, while on that outfit screen. Yeah, yeah, it is a, uh, yeah, they're doing the maintenance on it at the moment, yeah. Fella come in here yesterday. Oh wow, every, every join is a error message, like uh, error code. Okay, I mean that works, but, but I mean, <laughs> uh, I think it would work if it respawns us, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, let's see. I'm doing well, Mr. L. How you doing? I just thought I'd come on and maybe like uh, see if uh, anybody needed help <laughs> with anything, especially with the Gorma glitch because that's a very complicated glitch to p pull off. I don't think um, I don't think game chat is working either, so I'll just update my Reddit post. <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah, game chat's not working yet either currently. That's a bit much, isn't it? So you can't join friends, you can't, you may have some experience, like, difficulty equipping outfits. Um, and other, yeah, it's very... 
Well, I can I can help you out, Mr. L. I can this uh, I can do it raw on stream for you, so you'll get maybe a little bit more. Like, what what platform are you, are you on, Mr. L? Because um, depending on what platform you are, is if you're on PlayStation, I can do it in like. You'll obviously be able to get the timing down, but on Xbox it's a bit, it's a bit different. So I can try, I can show the Xbox method as well. Oh yeah, Xbox, yeah. So on Xbox, um, it is a matter of. Um, I can teach you the timing for Xbox. It works on PlayStation as well, but that the message, uh, the method in the video is the most consistent for timing. Um, So, I'll give you an Xbox, like, I'll give you the Xbox method. Uh, basically, do I have someone on my quick join? Yeah, I do. Um, you basically want to start off the bounty, as per usual. Uh, I'm not even going to wait for the bounty to start. Uh, and then you want to go to, which one was it again? It's been a minute. Then you want to go to Rich Pickings. And then, as soon, like, the way this is different is that as soon as you, uh, uh, you know, the, the camera fades in to your character, you join the person twice, and then as soon as you join the person twice, you cancel the alert straight away, and then you, you join your friend that'll give you the error message. Um, so for Xbox, you'd have somebody in a legendary bounty. Um, it's not a semi-solo way of doing it, unfortunately, but um, you'd have to need you need someone sitting in a legendary bounty for you at the moment. You could do it now because no, you can't join anybody on your friends list currently because of server issues. <laughs> so it might be really helpful. <laughs> um, so at this point in time, because you can't join anybody, you should just be able to join anyone um, on your friends list. So when your camera uh, fades in to join the telegram mission. Join somebody twice. I've joined someone twice just now, then I'm declining the alert. Then I'm going to join them again. And I've joined them again, and you either get an alert message that you needed to confirm, or you don't, and you just get a processing join like I did. And that should, if you're fast enough, glitch you out in the same gore state as well. Like that is like so much like easier, I guess, if like like once you get the like the the hold on it. But again, I don't think oh no I did get it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So basically yeah that's just that's what you do. Um, uh, for Xbox. You just you just uh, join someone twice, decline and then join uh, that person that will give you the error message the third time straight after you decline that message uh, the alert and yeah that's how you do it on Xbox pretty much <laughs> this may be simpler but um yeah I just I just made a method so that everybody could do it like solo on PlayStation it's the solo way of doing it on PlayStation and that's I mean that that's the global method to be honest. Because all you gotta really do is um just sit down here. Mechanically you could do it on every platform, I think. Yeah, so basically just join someone three times, yeah, basically. Join someone twice, decline, then join the, the guy again, and then accept. And depending uh depending on not Depending on whether you have the alert message or not, you may need to join them a fourth time to get um, out of the black screen. Or if you're bricked, you'll have to join them a fourth time again to, to be able to move. But yeah, that's how you do it, basically. Um, because this is a permadeath state, and I'd have to close the game to fix it, I'm just going to reload the, the game if that's okay. I don't want to have to close stream. <laughs> But yeah, you can go to the casino boot and stuff like that as well. Uh, I can run it again if you want, if you need to 
timing again, but then again, you can just run back on the stream if you really need that. But let me know if you need like a further explanation. Um, I'm very happy to um, explain more. <laughs> Yeah, you're allowed to do that. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. I am in a perma black screen. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to join someone to see if I can get out of it. But if I'm in a perma black screen and I can't do anything, um, <laughs> I may be stuck. I may have to close stream if I uh, can't get out of this black screen, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I love breaking like games too, um, and because Red, Red Dead Online isn't supported, it's uh, it's very. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank, thank, <laughs> thank, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, fake. I'll just have to jump into the stream just to see what you said because my pop-up is a bit it cuts off for some long messages uh, oh that delay is not too bad actually <laughs> Oh yeah, fake, yeah, yeah, that, um, the third floor of the St. Denis Theatre, yeah, <laughs> we basically, I, I actually, um, me and a friend, and one of our, one of my other friends, I, I, I put them up there, and they tracked it out, it's pretty cool, sometimes you can't get the interior to load in, but other than that, it's, um, very good, okay, that's good, I've managed to break out of the loading screen, <laughs> lovely. Sorry guys, in loading screen it's not too fun, is it? Yeah, the M1899s, um, I can get them pretty... Oh, hang on. I'm going to join somebody to get the error message again. Yeah, the M1899s, yeah, so they have... Ah, you can get them pretty reliable if you mission glitch, um, and you have your friend in the mission, like, still, like, unglitched in the mission, pick them up, because, uh, St. Denis Cops usually won't aggro in missions, but if you have a mission glitch friend in free mode while in a mission, um, they, they aggro to cops and get a bounty, and if you kill, like, a certain level, a certain amount of cops, eventually, the pistols will spawn in from one of the cops and that's how you get it 100% of the time basically is you just roll the dice and kill as many cops as you can until it drops <laughs> and then your person in the mission will pick it up you can only pick up one at a time unfortunately you can't get two at the same, the same time but I'm work like uh, what you say like um, it's we have to find a way to bring mission items back into free mode because that would be very very, very good. Oh, did I spawn on somebody? No way. No, I didn't. Fun. I'll just, uh, just reiterate for the people that just joined. Um, it's, uh, the game's having a bit of server issues right now, so game chat isn't working. Uh, Jack Marson, what am I doing now? Um, I'm just trying to demonstrate uh, any of the glitches that you guys are having issues with. Um, because I had a lot of comments on my videos for peop uh, from people saying that they needed uh, like an unedited raw 
footage of me doing the Gwoma glitch. You know, I just thought I'd... It's been a couple of weeks, but I'll, 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 I hope those people come back <laughs> to, to see... Um, to see the, the footage that they needed. Um, the, uh, the roll outfit merge is another thing, like... I'd love to be able to break down some of those outfits. Hang on, there's a glitch that you can do to get some of... Hang on. There we go, there we go. Might segment up this video a little bit. Maybe release the first half of the stream as an unedited video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game is a bit, you know. <laughs> I'm only playing the game because I like breaking it. <laughs> if I didn't have such weird ideas, I'd probably get be bored by now. Um, but yeah, these are all my rollout for merge uh, outfits. So you have the chef, the scientist, the magician. This one without like the uh, bandolier with the moonshine apron looks okay. I had to a mask with it, so I was just like, nah. The professor, that's the apron with the natural sash, with the bounty hunter jacket, with the bandana glitched on top of it. Oof, yeah, and then you got this one, which I tried to get like some of the components out of, but I couldn't manage to get it by itself. Hey, Bell, how you doing? <laughs> you might realize, Bell, that the game's kind of shit itself. <laughs> you can't, nobody can join anybody it's at the moment. Right. And I think voice chat's broken too, so where are we? Sorry, I'll just, I'll keep mentioning that because I think that's a bit strange because I know they did a bit of background maintenance for the crew list before, but. Thanks, Cal. <laughs> I'm just going to update my Reddit post to see if... Because um, I didn't know the game, the voice chat was wor not working either. That's a bit unsavory. <laughs> Edit post. Voice chat. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? There's such, like, because especially if you rock up to some, like, high levels and they've never seen, like, that outfit glitch before, you always get appreciation. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a fun feeling. Um, I was going to showcase here how to get a bandana and a mask on at the same time, but I don't think it's possible, given the game's current server issues. <laughs> because, hang on, if I try, I am curious. Um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? Something slip your mind? I can get you anything in there you need. Let's see. He... Okay, now that's saved. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna try again, but I don't know. If, I don't know if it's gonna work because. Uh, when you get the error code, it respawns you. But I'll try anyway. <laughs> uh, I sell out of that pretty fast. This one, this one. And then when you equip it and then join somebody, you'll still be wearing the roll outfit. Um, oh, I don't know. I can't equip a bandana on this outfit. I should have thought about that before I did it. Oh, well, what can you do? Oh, but I can equip a mask and stuff. Hey, I see you. How you doing? Long time no see. Uh, yeah, if I respawn, am I going to be wearing the roll outfit still? No. <laughs> Did 
Didn't think so. Didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, the PvP in this game can be pretty hectic, eh? So it's interesting that I spawned in with no outfit. They must have done something there. Eh? I'll do that next time. See what happens. Ah, that must be a that must be a merge. Yeah, okay. Is there a bandolier? Oh, then maybe there would be. Okay, sorry. Uh, Yeah, I mean, they're still alive, man. There's still posse 77s going on. Especially in the... Like, the really, really gritty PvP community. Like, the dark, the deep, dark PvP community. Uh, under the iceberg type of thing. Like, you'll you'll get lag switches still. You'll get booters still. You'll get god mode glitches. You'll get the lot, man. There's still, that, there's still those wars out there. You just gotta find them, man. You just gotta find them. Um, so I might explain the mission glitch for those people that don't quite understand the Gorma glitch. Um, oh, you shoot me. I'm gonna just consume... Uh... <laughs> it sounds like you might need to find another group, fake. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the mission glitch is basically, when I refer to the mission glitch, it's basically the uh, method of joining a friend twice and then declining the message. The mission glitch is not an intended feature, obviously, uh, because when you join a friend twice, you actually bleed out of the content that you're doing without accepting the alert, um, but you don't join the friend. So when I join somebody twice here, hang on, I just gotta find somebody on my friends list because I don't have a quick join list at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna join someone twice. That's I joined them once just now, and I'm joining them a second time. There you go. I joined them a second time, and I'm declining the alert. You'll bleed out of the content that you started, and bled. Now once. Um, now I'll be, I'll be in a new session, because I mission glitched. This is the fastest way to change sessions without a loading screen. It is the superior method of changing sessions without a loading screen. The way this, um, the game works, uh, I'd, uh, should I say the matchmaking works, when you try, it goes off localization. So if you're in Valentine and you session bleed using the mission glitch, um, you'll get a Valentine session, quote unquote. So you'll have the mo the majority of the players in this Valentine area. Okay, I can't shortcut map because I've got the invite. But yeah, you'll have the majority of players just in this general vicinity, or like even down here, as you can see, there, there is a wagon going on. Um, You'll have some people maybe in Tumbleweed, depending, because like obviously you can use the fast travel to go anywhere in the in the Which lobby. But uh, matchmaking is localized, so when you switch, when you session bleed, you will end up in a lobby that's um, got the most players in your general location, uh, which can be very useful when you're trying to search for people to shoot. <laughs> Which is definitely not me. I'm definitely not that person. No, not me. Um, hang on, I'll do it again just to, to illustrate the point. I can't do it as fast because, again, I don't have a, the quick join list available at the moment. Um, it just isn't appearing, so I just have to join them to the PlayStation menu manually every time. <laughs> Which isn't as fun, but it still does the job. Yeah, you're uh, you're in a new new lobby, in a localized lobby with several players in Valentine. <laughs> um, there is also I don't know if this will work because the games the game is a bit nasty, but 
a friend of mine actually found a glitch um, with the poker table. Yeah, I, I miss the beta map features, to be honest. They were fun. But it's, there's like a session, oh, how do I say this, like a, an exploit with the poker table. Not, not the, not the solo sessions. Um, I think, I think it's slightly, uh, like, I think it might low-key be griefing because it's, this is like the worst thing you can do to the poker community on this game. Like, if you play, if you start poker, then you go to public buy-in. Then you quickly throw a fireball at the table, and you should. Hopefully, I don't die here. I did die. That's unlucky. <laughs> it, hopefully, it still should work, even though I died. Let's see. <laughs> uh, when you when you spawn into the poker table, there should still be fire at the table. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work because I died. I've never died doing this before, so this will be very interesting to see. Um, I think it took too long though. I don't. I don't think the fire is still there. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, we can try again. All good. No problems there. I'll try again. <laughs> I know a lot of players use the poker table to find a new session without the loading screen, but again, like the session bleed is the fastest way to find a new session without uh, a loading screen. I think I just repeated myself twice. Oh, oopsie. All good. Fire usually doesn't transfer through sessions, but luckily for us, it transfers to the poker sessions for some reason. So, fun. Uh, poker. Oh, I just got put in the same session. That's funny. Okay, there we go. I think that should work this time. If not, this will be very interesting. I hope this works, because I'd really hate to do this again. Oh, nice! It did not work. That's awesome. I don't know why it's not working, to be honest. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I, I could do it again. Yeah, it might be because the servers are down. Eh, I'll try it again, just for funsies. They might be doing server maintenance because they've noticed that a lot of people are crashing because of the horse glitch. <laughs> that might be a, a big reason why they're doing server maintenance. <laughs> Hopefully, you notice none of the NPCs are catching fire there, so maybe, maybe that's why. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Is there fire here? No, it doesn't look like it. All good. All good. That's fine. There is a reliable way, and it's used via the mission glitch. Um, sorry, did I say used? I meant to say accomplished. So, there is a train spawn, a specific train spawn, that'll spawn in the single player train that turns left at Emerald. So, the single player train, forgive me, but it, it spawns like either here or like back here. I think it's here. I'm pretty sure it's like here, but it, then again, I'm pretty sure it also could also be here. Or just anywhere around here. If, it, if you get, if you mission glitch into a mission in free mode and you get a train to spawn like in this area, that train will always turn left and go through the wilderness. It's very fun. Very, very fun. 
I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have anybody to guinea pig me, um, uh, to put me in the mission glitch to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you got lucky then. Someone, someone else must have spawned it in. Because I do believe, just based on that, if you did it in a solo session, and you just kept, if you just kept AFK in this one area, if you got it to spawn in exactly there, it would always turn left. It's like hypothetically, um, it may spawn in other trains, other times. Oh yeah, the top of the train. Oh, that's interesting. Here, let me spawn in the train. Sometimes, when you get on and off your horse, the um, asset, like uh, online assets, ghost. And sometimes, if you're lucky, the train also ghosts, so you can get on your horse as it's kind of colliding with you and you go straight to the train. <laughs> but that's pretty rare though nowadays. Oh yeah, this is very, very laggy. Holy. Look at that black screen. It should not take this long. Oof. Huh. Oh really? You just call it, you just call it breach through the train and it puts them up there. That gives me an idea. Oh, I don't think that would. Uh, it might. You should be able to accomplish that with the elephant rifle instead of another person. Let me try that out now. Okay. Um, you can't customize the M1899s because uh, your player doesn't own the gun. Any gun you pick up can't be customized, unfortunately. Um, but I'd love to figure out a way to kind of glitch it into the gun shop. Unfortunately, I think the only way of doing that would be to find the single player merged online glitch in that is the big one. If we find that, it's a GG for any other glitch in the entire game. Like, you do not need another glitch in the entire game. Because if you can find a way to bring single player to online, holy shit. You'll be rocking with unlimited ammo, like, incinerary rounds forever. You'll be rocking with, like, single player outfit and, like, clothing items <laughs> you'll be have you'll have like the single player masks in online as well like yeah Yeah, that too, yeah. There's a lot of things from single player that we don't have in online, like the like the other lanterns and stuff. Hopefully this spawns in the, the train. <laughs> Should do. When's the last time I did this and the train didn't spawn in? Awesome. Oh, you tell me the train didn't spawn in. That's toxic, man. You know how many times I've changed my appearance and the train always spawns in? 
when you come out of it. Oh my god. Well, okay, let me just go over this way. <laughs> yeah. It would only ever do this to me if I wanted to actually find something. God damn. Oh, did I? Oh, thankfully. I do. Whoa, okay. Don't have any outfits on my horse, apparently. That's interesting. Where the fuck is this train? Did the train icon ever appear on the map? from like long distances, I don't remember. Might have been a thing in beta, but I don't remember. I think, especially in the solo sessions, it doesn't spawn in. Um, Cause the train is definitely not. Like I know the train doesn't spawn in until like a player is on near the track, so. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Um, I mean, the closest we came to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're spiting me. First they take away my friends list, now they take away <laughs> my ability to perform glitches. I figured like it would be a good I'd, like a good time to uh, stream because if I can't join anyone I may as well just show people <laughs> how to do things. <laughs> Oh, I had that glitch once, except it was an NPC. Uh, instead of holding his gun, he was holding a prison gate. It's very weird. Um, well, I might just do this. Um, so, did you know there's a way? I have a lot of gold, so I can just uh, demonstrate this quickly. Am I still in a solo session? Yes, I am. Wow, okay, I think matchmaking for sessions is also disabled. Back, Jesus, Rockstar, calm down. Um, so, the, if you equip the knotted bandana usually, it disables masks. just demonstrate that masks are blacklisted so you cannot equip masks in this state so a way to get a mask on this hairstyle Forget to buy something? Uh, this works for female hairpins as well. If you want to have a hairpin on a bald hairstyle, this also works for that. It looks amazing, by the way. <laughs> if you have a female character that's bald with the with the flower hair hair uh, hairpin, holy, you can look like an angel. <laughs> I, I do want to post a video about this. To be honest, it's very funny. Um, so basically, if you want. If you want a mask on the knitted bandana hairstyle, firstly, you want a normal hairstyle. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove this uh, hairstyle quickly. I'll just go bald because that's probably the fast and cheapest option. Wowee, very awesome. I'm bald now. Cool. Um, and now, once you've done that, basically, you want to equip an outfit that can't be modified. Um, so that goes for the Red Cliff, 
uh, the moment uh, Zapatero, Dedham, the Cleanland, the Haraway, the Cordell, the Woodward, and I think that's it uh, for the those outfits. And you can use a roll outfit as well, and any roll outfits that you, you merge. Um, so I might just quickly glitch the red cliff so this looks better. Uh, I have a very special outfit that lets me glitch whenever I want. Um, there we go. So I'll just do Something that. Like that. Do this. Grab that. Now I can customize the red cliff to my liking. So I'll glitch this mask onto the knotted bandana hairstyle. I think it looks like I think it looks like the best mask for the knotted uh, bandana hairstyle. Uh, if I take off the coat for the red cliff, put on sus some suspenders for the red cliff. I think maybe this one. Uh, gauntlets I don't really like, especially when it's armless like that. Um, I think I'll go with the white ones. This is going to look like uber grief-free, by the way. So if you don't like griefing outfits, <laughs> turn away now. <laughs> no, don't turn away. Come back. Um, if I put, like, I'll put the chaps on as well. This is going to look very weird. But it looks cool still. It looks like I'm from an insane asylum once the final result comes through. Good, and I'll also put on. I'm just completely there. We go. Also put on the necktie. Now this will all make sense in time. If I go ahead and respawn. Wow, we! I've done it. Um, so yeah. Now, now once you have. Uh, the mask on. The main the main thing is the mask in the uneditable outfit. So either a rockstar uneditable outfit like the Red Cliff or um, roll outfit. And then once you have the mask on and the outfit equipped, um, you basically start up a moonshine mission or any mission basically <laughs> that allows you to access the the hair stylist. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm just doing the uh, this mission because it's the fastest ride to the hairstylist. Or should I say the barber? <laughs> This glitch works better on females, I will admit, because you can do so much more with the hairpins. <laughs> you just have the floating hairpins with no hair or bald hairstyle. Looks so much better. And I believe you don't need to have an uneditable outfit for that. I think, uh... I don't think you need to be wearing an uneditable un 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 outfit, holy. Um, I think you can do that with any outfit on the female side of things. When you're trying to get the... <laughs> All good, Mr. L. All good. I think, um... It, yeah, it works a lot better on the female side of things, because uh, there's this one floral hairpin that makes it so that you have, like, a... Um... Angel ring <laughs> above your head if you go bald with it. <laughs> so it looks really nice. Especially with, like, a glitched outfit. Um... I'm not on my female account right now, mainly because I keep on resetting it to try and find a way to glitch the prison outfit, which I did accidentally. Um, but yeah, once you Hello, welcome. Once you've done that, I'm in the wrong place. I said go to the barber, didn't I? Why am I doing that? 
Sorry, just a reflex to go to the fucking clothing shop. <laughs> it is a reflex for me. Because this is also the way you get uh, garment hoods on roll outfits as well. If you didn't know about that one. But I'll do that, do that later for those that are interested on that. On, for that. There we you change appearance. And change your appearance to the knotted bandana. Where is it? Did I go past it? I definitely did. There it is. Um, awesome. Now once you've equipped it, leave the mission. And when you spawn in, you'll have the hairstyle and the mask at the same time. Wow. So much effort for a minimal result. Let's go. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool, so yeah. <laughs> um, what's funny is that this this makes the entire outfit blacklisted. I know this outfit specifically is already blacklisted because it's glitched. But bear with me, if you have a not a bandana and a mask on at the same time, you can't save the outfit. Anyway, which makes the things a little bit. Less fun. But, um, there is a way to save blacklisted outfits that I've recently discovered. Um, unfortunately, I can't show that to you today because of the server issues, <laughs> unfortunately. Although, oh no, I might be able to. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Oh, good. So unfortunately, the way I save um, save blacklisted outfits only works. Uh, it, the timing is only reliable on PlayStation because on PlayStation we have um, a controller light that changes color depending on our activities. Um, Xbox players, I uh, don't think they have. Uh, interactable lights on their controllers depending on what you do but when you're usually free roaming um, the light will be red on your controller when you go into eagle it should go white um, the, this is a fundamental concept that you will need to understand <laughs> um, so when when you are in a cutscene or an effect of some sort your controller light will go white that is something you need to understand for this next portion of the glitch. So to save a blacklisted outfit, um, hang on, I'll just have to check the app because my game is bugging. So, um, yes, Mr. L, if you want specifically a mask on the knotted bandana style, you will have to do that every single time unfortunately so that's two gold every time and on top of that you will lose the mask if you open your wilderness camp so don't do that <laughs> but yes um the other side of this glitch that i can't show right now uh when we're referring to the knotted um with masks like the female variant of this glitch that glitch is so much more fun because you can obviously um, you don't lose it. <laughs> um, so yeah, to save a glitched blacklisted outfit like this, see how I have modify and I could like there's no save outfit option. Where we no save outfit option even though I have spaces. Look at that because the outfit's blacklisted. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do, basically, is jump into some act, some sort of active content. So I'd recommend a bounty board, because every town has a bounty board, and most towns have wardrobes. So that's probably the easiest way to set it up. So bounty board, and then once you do that, head over to the wardrobe. 
Now, the next portion portion of the same blacklisted outfit glitch that, um, is a bit counterintuitive, okay? It's, it's a bit strange, but mechanically it makes sense. So, when you go into a wardrobe, um, it doesn't actually save your changes until you leave the wardrobe. But it doesn't save your changes unless you manually leave the wardrobe. So in order to save this glitch, we have to select no outfit and then um, edit the no outfit so that we have the ability to save it and then get the game to leave the wardrobe um, without us manually leaving the wardrobe. And that will allow us to, in a, f like a certain time frame, save the outfit that we were wearing before we entered the wardrobe. If that makes sense, let me know. <laughs> so I'll do it right now. Um, if you go into outfits, no outfit, edit the outfit, change the outfit. Now you can save the outfit. Um, and you won't see it on, on, on the stream, but I actually have the keypad, save outfit, uh, enter outfit name, uh, touchpad thingy out right now. And you just want to stay on this um keyboard okay stay on the keyboard you won't see it on the stream but you need to be staying on the keyboard very important stay on the enter outfit name screen okay <laughs> um so once you're on the keyboard join a friend once you got to be mission glitching out of the, the wardrobe okay join a friend once and then join a friend twice now, once you join the friend twice, you'll still be on the keyboard. Now on PlayStation, um, this will be really easy to do. Um, basically, you want to be sitting on the alert until it expires. And uh, you need to be looking at your controller, controller light on PlayStation. It'll change to white. As soon as it changes to white, basically save the outfit. You can also do this on Xbox, looks like, because that was actually pretty easy without me even looking at the light. <laughs> as soon as you have that sound effect of the uh, alert going away, press um, whatever button it is on your platform to save the outfit, and you'll save the outfit. The outfit is saved. Um, so anytime you mission glitch, your controller light turns to white. Uh, so that's why it's very useful and easier on PlayStation or on Xbox. I mean, you can probably just do it without the controller light, but it might be a little harder. <laughs> oh yeah, you got you actually have clips fake of that. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I can't show you the expanded and enhanced uh, Moonshine Weapons glitch. There's multiple variants of that glitch that you can either do solo or co-op. But I can't show the co-op because online the servers are shitty, unfortunately. I wonder if I can actually... No way. No way I can switch to another outfit though. Hang on. I can! No way! Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? That's a lot better. So I can actually save this outfit with the, the mask on. That's really nice. That's really nice. I didn't think that would work because the the mask... The, your, your masks in your saved outfits usually get deleted when you switch to the not a bandana style. But apparently not. All good. How to remove the first two moonshiner roll out? Um, 
how to remove the apron. Now that's interesting because that's really hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, removing anything from a roll outfit is extremely difficult. Um, but here, I can give it a shot. Let me think really hard. So, anytime you merge another belt to the first two Moonshine aprons, the first thing you need to understand is that these aprons are actually belts. So, if you merge another belt over to another out from another outfit, the apron will disappear. So, take the collector belts for example. If you merge that coat or that outfit to uh, the ape to the Moonshine outfit. That would successfully remove the apron. That would remove the apron. Um, there's also another thing that removes aprons, but that is specifically in shootout series, and that can't be saved to my knowledge. There may be a way of saving it. I'd love to know, but I've not found a way of doing that just yet. <laughs> I would love, love, love to be able to save it during that. Because another thing is, when you're wearing these outfits and then you go into a shootout series, what, you know those little sashes, uh, like the colored sashes you get in the shootout series? That remove, that remove Those classify as belts, so when you wear those, the apron gets replaced because those are belts. They... They look interesting with the aprons. I do think they work well uh, when paired with other outfits, though. The aprons do work with this outfit, for example. Looks very posh. <laughs> I mean, it looks very interesting with this one as well. Might look a bit too griefy, though. You don't want people to be scared. This one, that's a glitched outfit. The Put an apron over over this outfit was the only way to get the um, bandoliers to disappear, so yeah, that's how I did that. Um, but yeah, it's very difficult removing components from the roll outfits, especially, like, you can't remove coats from the roll outfits. Oh, see you, fake. Thanks for stopping by. There is a lot. Ooh, ooh, we. I really hope. Uh... <laughs> oh, good. I have to be really careful on these streams because I may have <laughs> these glitched glitches. Uh... Stolen by other YouTubers, <laughs> and then they'd put me in the at the bottom of their descriptions. Like that's helpful. Like it isn't. <laughs> put me at the top, damn it. <sighs> put me at the top of your description, because nobody scrolls all the way down. Holy, no, all good. Sorry, just an event really quickly about that. Because I had a bunch of YouTubers be like, "Oh, hey, can we, can we, can we shout you out? Can we re-upload your video, like your glitch?" At least they ask, you know. But then they put their sponsorship deal and their like video tags first, and then all of their like <laughs> like uh, socials, and then at the very bottom was my linked <laughs> YouTube channel. How nice of them! So kind. <laughs> Um, you want to know how to do the chef outfit? <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad, man. Those two are... I'm not going to name them, but those two YouTubers are fucking horrendous. <sighs> okay. So, t to start glitching the... Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. Because, yeah... I'm going to... Uh -huh. 
Also, another thing, when you save the blacklisted outfits, um, they will, those outfits, those saved outfits will delete when you, when you reload the game. Uh, when I mean reload the game, I mean main menu, then free mode, that'll, that's a reload. Um, also another reload is changing appearance, that's a reload. Um, And another reload is obviously closing up and reloading the game. So anytime you reload the game, those outfits will disappear. So my my point of advice is to basically... What hairstyle did I have? Um, there we go. I actually have no idea what my hairstyle was. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> What was my hairstyle? Uh, just bear with me, folks. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what my hairstyle was. Oh, it was this one. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. All good. Um. So yeah, I'll give you a rough tutorial on how to get the chef outfit. <laughs> it's going to be very rough because I'm doing it on stream though, so keep in mind that this may take some seriously fucking long time. Because this is not a consistent glitch by any means, and uh, doing it a certain way may help you slightly, but it will still really, really, really take a long time. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's, it's bad. Okay, <laughs> so for this one, let me just think. It's been a really long time since I made this, and this is a really, really hard outfit to make. Uh, okay. So the first thing you want to do, let me just think. The first thing you want to do is you want to get the Dagonheart outfit with... Ah, which one was it? <laughs> the last collector outfit. The London Londonderry. I think I'm saying that right. Yes. Basically, you want to have... Let's get rid of that. You want to merge the Dagonheart to the Londonderry. If that makes sense, let me know. <laughs> so, this is the. It is important to do this this merge first before you do anything else. Otherwise, it'll be very very difficult to do. Uh, so if you try and merge the uh, Wilkes Barrow to the Londonderry, you'll have a lot of you'll have a very difficult time. But it will work eventually. But it'll just be harder than doing the Dagon Heart to the Londonderry first. Um, and once you do that, you can merge the... Okay, I'm, I'm just going to walk you through it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be easier. I won't, I won't do this by theory, I'll do it in practice. Um, so you want to do the roll outfit merge. You want to get those two outfits on your horse, because that's basically... You want to equip them as fast as possible when you load back in. This will take some time because the servers are under maintenance, so any time I search for a new free room session, I'll be in a black screen for about two minutes. So bear with me, folks. This is not fun to do on stream, but it's what you gotta do. for a sec.
Yeah, those outfits, uh... Yeah, it does take up to four times. You don't have to respawn as quickly... Uh, you don't have to respawn that many times, Sanatos. Uh, if you're waiting on the respawn screen. If you wait on the respawn screen, it'll only... Uh, you'll only have to respawn up to three times. Mr. L. Hey, the screen isn't black anymore. That is fundamentally amazing news. We are now loading back into Red Dead Online. It is fantastic news. I love doing the roll outfit merge, can you tell? Especially when the servers aren't responding and it takes two minutes to, to get to the loading process. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, good, Zeleon. Xamil. I think it's uh, Zaxamilion. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Whoa! I did not spawn in the right place at all. <laughs> oh my god! Why did I spawn in? Is this Annisburg? Holy! Holy, it's taking the piss right now. <laughs> I'll go to Valentine and hopefully my uh, hopefully my game lets me do things. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm just doing the roll outfit merge glitch, man. Ooh, my. I wish I knew what that meant. I'm sorry that I don't. Okay, let's hope that I spawn in Valentine. This time, um, I may have to, may have to stick around just so that the game saves. Back so soon. Hang on. Uh, due to the server issues, actually, I don't think this is going to be possible. I don't think I can show you. I don't think I can show you the roll effort merge due to my last location being Annisburg. <laughs> um, it saved my previous location, but due to the server issues, this, the last location isn't updating. This happens every single time the servers go into maintenance, and your last location doesn't update until the servers come fully back online. So, yeah, I won't have the... I will not have... I, will, I won't be able to basically... Uh, doing this. It's just really sad. I'll try again, but I don't think my last location will update at all.
what else can we do with this, I wonder? Oh, I did spawn a valentine. Yippee! I didn't think that was going to work. I'm glad it did. Okay. Welcome back, sir. Wardrobe. And okay, we have to do this manually because my my outfits didn't spawn on my horse. Uh, this one. This is gonna look really, really nasty, but it's gonna work in practice. Okay. <laughs> and I'll try this one. Something slipped your mind. Did I even change the belt? I don't know if I did. Who knows? I'm just gonna respawn up to three times and maybe even clip clip footage on the clip footage. Clipping footage. Clipping footage. Going back through footage. Did I change the belt? No, I didn't. Awesome. <laughs> I love messing up on stream, that's awesome. I'm just going to... I'm just going to reset then. <laughs> got, uh, I got thrown off because my outfits went on my horse and I was like, oh yeah, I'll just equip the outfit and then select the other outfit. Yep, yep, no need to change the gun bad at all, all good. Okay guys, another two minutes of downtime, coming right up. I haven't seen a train recently either. <laughs> I'm still looking for that train, man. I am going to use different colors this time, I think. You can make invisible outfits if you don't have the Dutch outfit. The Zapatero is a purchasable outfit from Madame Nazar, and you can you can use that outfit to get invisible arms. Getting in invisible things on a female character is much harder because of the French uh, French dress shirt. If you have the French dress shirt on the female characters it is impossible to get one it is impossible to get no the no uh, titties outfit and it is also impossible to get arm arm like no arms on a female ca character but because males can take off shirts whenever they want you can have the french dress shirt on males and still get invisible arms all good no problems um so yeah, this one, I might, I might have taken too long here, because I was like, oh, what am I doing? Oh, good. I think this will work for sure. London Berry. And just respawn. Okay. Because we can uh, save blacklisted outfits now while wearing them, I think I ought to do another video on how to get invisible outfits again because there's a lot new te there's a lot of new methods to get invisible outfits uh, there's a certainly a lot more tech involved um, to make them last so I think I want to do another video on that but that'll have to be when the servers get fixed because <laughs> I'll need someone else to help me because there is a second method that you can use uh, to get a blacklisted outfit to be able to merge things, but that will have to be done at a later date. Um, look, 
I think it is possible to remove the ponchos from a bounty hunter outfit, but we're talking a million and one because the merge out this merge method is completely random completely and utterly random okay <laughs> it, it 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 does not have by any means i'll just call it chef v2 i'll delete the effort as soon as end stream to be honest but this is just a proof of concept okay <laughs> thanks <laughs> uh, so what you want to do to make this next merge easier is you want to merge this outfit back to the dragon heart this this process this step will make everything net every single other outfit that you merge to 100 percent easier to merge uh so i'll do this and hopefully it will all work out well okay hang on hang on hang on hang on before i do that i need to make sure the game actually has time to save the outfit on my character so i'll just make a custom outfit remove the custom outfit so it actually fully saves all good yep. um hey fake a demonstration yeah I've never been able to get the roll outfit coats without the ponchos to transfer, but I'm thinking it is possible. Okay, I'm in in the about roughly six days of me being on loading screens. Not a, not a joke, by the way. I think I've got six days of playtime just on this loading screen doing the roll outfit merge. <laughs> I've never been able to get the those coats by themselves without the ponchos, but I think it is possible. Okay, <laughs> I think it is possible. If someone if someone does get the coat without the poncho, please DM me. Please, I need to know. <laughs> I need to know as well. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 it'll probably be me that does it, but I'll, I'd love to, for someone else to do it. Yeah, that magician outfit took me three days to make, of just conceptualizing the process, and then... Um, and then doing it. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to merge the the product to the original. I, Matthew, I believe there is, but I haven't had somebody online recently that's um, been all too keen to run through the ideas that I have to get that into back into free mode. <laughs> I think it is possible. I think it is very, like, I do believe that there's a way, but I haven't been able to test it recently, unfortunately. So I'll get back to you, man. Matthew, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of that. Oh, true. Well, you're pretty quick with that, though, to be honest. It must be around the corner for you. Okay, now, now that you've merged that outfit back to the Dagonheart, you now have uh, the Moonshine Pants. And that what that allows you to do is to fairly consistently get the Moonshine Coat to go over this outfit. I'm using really ugly colors that you so that you can easily see the product, okay? <laughs> it's not because I think this looks cool. I know it doesn't. It looks fucking horrendous. But bear with me, it looks okay. Um, so I'll just call this 
E, because that's what I usually call test outfits. Um, now that you have done that, where is... Hang on. You want to merge this outfit uh, back to... Okay, no, no. Uh, to the Wilkes Barrow. And I'll use this one. Yeah, this might look decent. Or not, but I'll do it anyway. So, w a way to get the mer like merge to be very consistent is to match the, the lower half of the outfits together so that you have zero chance of the pants or the shoes replacing each other. Because if the pants or the shoes get replaced, the outfit will 100% collapse upon merge. And that is something you 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 can get like the possibility to nullify if you actually just change. So what was the colorway of this these pants? So the blue Wilkesboro pants. So I'll just change this this uh, these pants to the blue versions, and I'll save the outfit again. Bang. So now you'll notice that these are the same pants and shoes. This makes it 100% easier to do and to digest when you're merging. Literally simplifies the merge to almost 100% chance of working. Because getting the Wilkesboro coat to merge onto any glitched outfit without doing these this step is incredibly incredibly inconsistent it's one of the most inconsistent in, inconsistent coats to get on any outfit ever I'm, I'm not kidding it is very difficult to get this coat onto any other outfit uh but yeah going going from that i'm just gonna show you the back, result <laughs> okay back to no outfits you know i'm just going to do this a couple times because i do not want to lose that outfit at all i don't want there to even be a slim chance of not having that outfit when i load back in okay that should be enough now i'll just go back again and do it Matthew, are you referring to that, um, when you said I did it one time but it was only a temporary glitch and you couldn't save it, uh, was that post-patch? Because uh, it was patched, there was a, a way to save it two years ago and it got patched. Did you do that post-patch? Just checking in. <laughs> because... What you're referring to is having the outfit when you spawn in in free mode. And if you have that outfit when you spawn in on freedom mode, I know a way to save it. I know it says, I know you can't save it when you go into the wardrobe, but I, I just showcased on my stream just maybe half an hour ago a way to save <laughs> outfits like that. Um, so if you are able to replicate what you did, you can save it and um, save it temporarily. Um, I should note that when you any anytime you save outfits that can't usually be saved, you will lose them when you relaunch the game. But you can transfer them to session to session bef without closing out. If you close out, you'll lose them. So you'll have to do that process anytime you want those sorts of components. Unfortunately. So yeah, I'll just head back to... Uh, oh, Kimmel's in here. He's a very aggressive PvPer. Um, okay, so you just go back to the wardrobe. And from there... Basically... You want to transfer the Wilkes Barrow... To... E... And that should merge the coat. If it doesn't... Oh well, we'll just do it again. <laughs> All good. I'll 
respawn again. All good. Now, this is going to look really ugly, and I'm very aware of that. But this is just a proof of concept, because somebody wanted to know how I made the chef outfit. <laughs> All good. Okay. It got rid of the bandolier, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Oh, well, what can you do? Sometimes it will remove the bandolier. And that is expected, because anytime you remove, anytime you merge a bandolier uh, once over to another outfit, the next time you merge the bandolier That's over, you will lose it, unfortunately. But I do believe, yeah, okay, I lost the bandolier in the um, when I, in the E outfit. Um. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. You you would need to have the uh, bandolier merge over the. Uh, you want you want the bandolier to come up, come over, obviously. And for that, you just have to do a couple more attempts. It, w it won't be a hundred percent, but it will happen. Um, and you'll get the you'll get the results that you want. Unfortunately. That bandolier is very difficult to get by itself, but I am interested now, and I want to see if it is something that I can do. You may even have to... Yeah, okay, that might even work. So, to keep, to keep the bandolier, here's a refined method. Most of the London Dairy onto the Dagenhart. That will make it so that the, the London Dairy has the pants of the Dagenhart straight away. And upon that, if you merge the Wilkesborough to the product, product of those two outfits, you should keep the bandolier. You may not, but if you merge over and over and over again, you eventually will. Um, yeah. It's disappointing that it didn't uh, work in the stream, but that's how you do it, I'm saying. That's how you do it. That's how you, that's how you get that outfit. Um, you can also merge other vests onto... So you can use the Pittsburgh to change the vest and, and shirt to match the coat once you have the outfit that you need. Um, but yeah, getting that bandolier to merge can be a bit of a of a challenge. You just have to try your best. In fact, I think. Hang on, let me just run it, run it again. Let me think. Merging. So I believe the bandolier outfit, this one, and the subsequent bandolier outfits that you merge, they have to be the second outfit. So say you want the coat on the outfit we just made, right? And you have the bandolier. So you'd have to equip the the coat first and then the bandolier outfit second so that the bandolier doesn't get lost when the coat transfers we lost the bandolier there because we selected the bandolier outfit first and then transferred that to a second outfit i believe i i'm not sure 100 percent, but i believe that's what happened that's why we didn't have the bandolier transfer so just keep that in mind when you're merging in your own time it can get quite hard to get what you want. With that being said, um, yeah, I'm going to do something. What am I doing? Um, 
I might go to the Grand Corps again. Might be a good way of doing something. Yeah. I'm doing something. Wow, such an accomplishment. I'd also love to know how to glitch uh, the uh, Harriet and uh, Fisher and Isles animals. Harrietum aficionalis animals, sorry. But they themselves, those animal, that that mechanic is very bugged without trying to glitch it. So it, it's quite, um, it's quite hard to test. <laughs> it's quite hard to test things that might break you out of that state. Very, very hard. In fact, very, very difficult. Uh, I'll just equip these for cosmetic value. And then I'll do the Gorma glitch again, because, yay, yeah, funny. Okay, somebody is in my quick join. That's lovely. Yeah, just being an animal and just being able to free mode without the restrictions of that little animal state thing. Yeah, lovely. I would love to know how to do that. But unfortunately, any all attempts that I've made to try and break out of that state have just resulted in me being either teleported to a random place on the map as the animal and then timing out because I'm out of bounds. Oh, hang on, so where is the, uh, I think which pickings is closest, yeah. So I'll just use this one. Oh, good. Oh no, the person I would join just left the game. Not funny, man. What about this person? They're playing Fallout 76. Woo. The wagons. All good, all good. I'll just manually join someone. That's fine. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I don't even know if it's, this glitch is even possible. <laughs> manually joining someone three times. But hey, we're here to find out, aren't we? We're here to find out. Oh, my playing style has referred to offensive while taking part in this activity. Too bad I'm not in the activity anymore. That's unfortunate. Okay. Where am I going? still playing. Oh, she's playing as well! Bruh. Why did my quick join menu just... <sighs> decide not to do be a quick join menu anymore. I'm going to Tahiti. Yes, I am. I have to be very careful. This could very well into the stream if I get into the Gorma Glitch and die. But that's okay, we like high stakes. And I think I'm I think I've showed you most, if not all, of the things I wanted to show you. Except for like like the uh, online activities and online glitches that I wanted to show, but that's okay. We'll do that later. I don't know the date. I love it. Okay, quick join list. Hey, I've got somebody again. That's good. And this one, and this one. Rich pickings. Join. Join twice, cancel. Join again, accept.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which cards do I usually use? Well, it depends on what setup I'm running. Um, against NPCs, I run a full Dead Eye Regeneration build with Paint It Black. Oh, lovely. Oh, man. This isn't a fun one. I don't like it when this happens. No, <laughs> I did it too quickly. That's okay. Oh, I can pause the game. Oh, I'm so, I'm so lucky. I got the uh, bugged camera version of the glitch. But if, uh, sorry, uh, if I'm, if it's PVP, I run P I, uh, I run P I B usually. Um, and I'm probably the only horse PVP. -er. <laughs> in the game right now. I love PvPing on the horse. It is absolutely phenomenal and fun to do. Uh, so I run uh, PIB, Gunslinger, uh, never without one because I can equip it from the horse. I don't need the Night Garment set because I don't want to look ugly. <laughs> and I run Peak Condition for that extra damage boost. Mozart? Oh, I didn't know that about Mo Mozart. Hey, El Yap, how you doing? Oh, God. Okay, I might have to join someone again. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very uh, invigorating, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely got a lot going on, haven't I? Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I can't do much here. I don't think I can get out of this infinite loading screen. Ah, that really sucks, man. I could have if I didn't join somebody prematurely, but um, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, lovely. Musical history. Yeah. The uni experience. Yeah, I, I learned how to edit at uni. That's all it was really used for. <laughs> useful for. <laughs> This is horrendous, okay. Let me think, let me think. Is there a way I can get out of this? Without. Okay. Yup, nope. I don't think I can get out of this one. All good. All good. Um... Thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the short stream that this was. I mean, it wasn't too short. It was pretty long. But uh, 
Thanks for stopping by, Mr. L. You kept me thoroughly entertained. <laughs> Here's to the next one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll get a capture card soon so I don't have to end stream every single time I close out. But, yeah, well, see you guys. Have a good one.